Alright guys, what's up? Today we're doing the Western Province medium achievement tasks, or medium tasks. The last ones, our last medium tasks I need to do. So, let's go ahead and get started. Items wise, we're going to need a teasing stick, logs, a knife, a big fishing net, a small crystal seed, a rune pickaxe, a tinderbox, a rune axe, or a rat axe of any sort, pot of creams, two of them, chocolate bars, equa leaves, gian dough, these all can be bought from Grand Exchange, your composite ogre bow or an ogre bow, then you need to have killed 125 chompies to complete these tasks. You guys remember from the first one, or from the easy tasks, you had to have done 25 kills. This time you need 125. I've done 350, so I'm currently good with that. So before anything else, I recommend you guys get those chompy kills. Also, we're going to need um, a slayer ring for easy. Well, you don't need it, but I recommend having a slayer ring for you know quick access to the gnome stronghold. A pest control teleport is highly recommended. We're going to be going to test uh, pest control, and you m we must complete an intermediate game. Some stamina potions, and I also have a teleport to Ape Atoll, and this requires two fire runes, two water runes, two law runes, and a banana. And you must be on the standard spellbook. I have the stand. Or I have the spellbook swap, so that's why I have that. But anyways, you also have to basically find a way to get to Ape Atoll a bit later in these tasks. I also recommend having 5k coins, which I just quickly got, because we're going to be buying a couple ingredients later. So make sure you guys have some coins on you. At least at least 1k. So, items, that should be it. Let's go to go to the skills. 37 agility, 31 hunter, 46 fishing, 35 woodcutting, 35 fire making, 70 combat, 5 fletching, 30 ranged, 42 cooking, and 40 mining. Now, a couple quick notes. We're going to have to go do a gnome delivery all right we're gonna have to complete a del delivery for the gnome restaurant now i made a quick guide on how to sort of start off gnome restaurant i'm gonna start that right now so to start gnome cooking you guys want to head to the grand tree and gnome strongholds we're gonna head to the first floor now you don't need anything in your inventory what i have in my inventory is just what i need for the achievement diaries but you do not need them basically everything will be given to you at the restaurant when we when you're supposed to make your first sort of drinks and food orders and stuff so head to the grand tree go up the ladder head to the first floor and then head all the way to the west you'll see the mini game symbol on your mini map and that'll basically tell you that that's where it is you have to talk to Jian jr is his name so go ahead and talk to him and you're gonna go through a bunch of dialogue with him on starting gnome restaurant I've already done it, so I don't have all the dialogue, but basically just talk to him, and when you finish him, he's going to ask you to talk to Gian uh, Sr., who I guess is his dad. He's the cook on the next platform to the right. Talk to him, and he'll give you a book. You want to look through the book, and what you want to do is you want to talk to him again, and he'll give you your first order, which he'll give you some toad legs, some dough, a tray, gnome spice, some equa leaves, and, and then you want to head north up to the range. Use your dough on the tray use your tray on the range which is just there's two up there then look you guys can see on the tray it says prepare click the tray or right click the tray and click prepare select toad crunchies then you guys want to use the tray on the range again it'll make those and then you want to click your equal leaves use your equal leaves on the crunchies to complete the toad crunchies head back south and you want to talk to Gian senior again I went a bit too far. And then we want to talk to him and say that we finished the Toad Crunchies. He'll take a bite. He'll say it's pretty good. Cool. And he'll give you another recipe to do now. A couple more. There we go. We're going to have to make some chocolate chip crunchies, which is something that i definitely make because that sounds pretty good. But we want to head back north. Use your dough on the tray again. Use your tray on the range. Once you've done that, click prepare on the tray, and you will get the option to make chocolate chip crunchies. Click that. And now you guys want to use your chocolate dust, or use the tray on the range one more time, then use your chocolate dust, chocolate dust on the unfinished crunchies, and you'll have some ch uh, chocolate chip crunchies. And once again, we're going to go talk to uh, Gian Sr. He'll take a bite of the crunchies, he'll be pretty impressed, and now we have to make some toad batta, which I've never heard of before. So head back north to the range. Once you're there, use your Gian Do on the Bata that he gave you. 
or the sort of the bata tray, then use that on the range. Click prepare, click toad bata, use the half made bata on the range again, and that's it. You don't need to use, you don't need to use anything else on it. It'll be prepared after you cook it for the second time. After you finish that, talk to a love senior. He'll ask for his toad bata. There it is. He takes a bite. Pretty good. Now we have to make a cheese and tomato bata. So head back up north to the range. Use your Gion dough on the bata pan again. Use that on the range. Click prepare. Click cheese and tomato bata. And then you guys have to use the half made bata on the range to cook it. That'll get rid of the pan. Then simply use your equa leaves on the unfinished bata to finish off the cheese and tomato bata. And as usual, we'll go talk to Olaf Senior for the last time. Here it is, what do you think? And he'll like it, and that's it. So you guys finished with Olaf Olaf Gian Senior, <laughs> what a name. And now we're finished uh, making food. Now we have to make some cocktails, some drinks. To do that, we're going to have to head to the eastern part of the first floor. So once you're finished going through all the dialogue, you get some free dough from Gian. And now we're going to have to head west, or sorry, east, to the east side of the first floor. First floor, east side of the first floor of the Grand Tree. It's a mouthful. Over here, you guys will see Blurberry. He's got the blue shirt on. This guy. Go ahead and talk to Blurberry. Say, okay, then I'll give it a go. He'll give you a book. You can just go ahead and open look through the book if you guys have any questions about recipes. It's all in there. I'm also going to be linking a known food guide below so talk to him again he'll give you the ingredients for your first cocktail which is a fruit blast so first thing you guys want to do is click on the cocktail mixer click fruit blast you have the mixed fruit glass now you guys have to use your knife on the lemon make slice uh, make slices of lemon click pour mixed blast into the fruit blast or to make it into a fruit blast that's all you need to do talk to him he'll take a sip he'll say not bad and now we're gonna have to make some pineapple punch Pretty easy stuff, this is a bit easier than the baking. Again, click mix cocktail, cocktail shaker, click pineapple punch. Now you guys have to do something with other fruits. So with your knife, use your knife on the pineapple, dice the pineapple. Use your knife on the lime, dice the lime. And use your knife on the orange, uh, but slice the orange. Click pour mix drink and you'll automatically make a pineapple uh, mix or pineapple punch or whatever. Talk to him again, he'll take a sip, he'll like it. Next we have to make a wizard blizzard. Once again, as usual, mix the cocktail shaker to get a wizard blizzard. Use your knife on the pineapple, dice the pineapple, use your knife on the lime and slice the lime. Click pour again on the cocktail mixer and you'll automatically get a wizard blizzard. Talk to him. He'll try it, he'll like it as usual, he better. And last but not least, a short green guy. <laughs> Interesting name. Click pour on the cocktail mixer again, or shaker. Click short green guy. Now we have some equal leaves here, make it a, spice it up a little bit. Use your knife on the lime, slice the lime. You don't need to do anything with the equal leaves. Click mix cocktail, and you'll automatically get a short green guy. Talk to him. Here you go, takes a sip, and that's it, boom. You guys finished with that. You guys have finished making food, finished making drinks, and now you guys can start Gnome Restaurant. Now, just to double check to make sure you got everything done, head back to Jian Jr., who you guys started off talking to in the very beginning. We're gonna go talk to him. And we took the long, we took the long way for some reason, but pretty much go where you started off, talk to him, and if he, give, if he gives you the option to, to get an assignment, you guys have finished, which you guys will see right. I'm ready to take an order. If you guys get those three options, you're ready to go. So back to the guide. So that's pretty much how you start off doing Gnome Restaurant. We'll complete our order during these tasks though. So don't worry, we'll do that together. Okay, and then quests, a lot are needed. So get ready. Tree Gnome Village, Monkey Madness, The Grand Tree, One Small Favor, Big Chompy Bird Hunting, Eagle's Peak, Eyes of Glaufrey, and yeah, those are it. So that's about it guys. Recommended items, you don't need to kill anything. So we're just going to be having all these items like I already said. And uh, we'll, we'll always be close to a bank. So just in case something pops up, we can always get to a bank quickly. 
So, as you guys can see, we're actually starting off at the Spirit Tree at the Grand Exchange. It looks very sad. I mean, look at that. I feel terrible for it. But the first task, actually, we need to do is simply to right-click, travel, and go to Gnome Stronghold. And I already, I've already done it, so I'll show you guys right here quickly. Travel to the Gnome Stronghold by Spirit Tree, and that'll complete that. So, easy one done. Now we're going to go ahead and head to Grimstale's Cave. It's just this exclamation mark right here. Well, second one. First one is the is Neve Slayer Cave. The second one is the one we need to get to. Brimstale is uh, sort of an unknown guy, except for his quests, or except for from the quests. But there's actually he can actually teleport you to the the pure essence mine. So, and he also has the singing or yeah singing bowl in his in his cave. So once you enter the cave, go ahead and head north and then head west and then head south. We're gonna see the singing bowl. Now you're gonna see a right click option that says singing bowl. So go ahead and walk across the crystal bridge. And don't use your seat. Do not use your seat on the bowl. Right click, sing glass. And a crystal saw will be made and that completes a medium task. So congrats on the crystal saw, I guess. I don't know when you ever use that, but GL, <laughs> good luck. So. There we go, that completes that, another easy one. Now we're just going to head and use our Slayer Ring Teleport to get to the Stronghold Slayer Cave because it's quicker. And we're going to go ahead and use the bank. Just climb up the staircase. We're going to quickly bank our Crystal Saw, just because we don't really want a full inventory all the time, just in case. So I'll put that into my Useless tab. And let's go ahead and head back down. And now we're going to be heading to the big tree so the grand tree is what we'll call it well is what it is called we'll call it the grand tree grand tree a lot of stuff to do in here first one we're gonna do is make a ba -ba -da -da, chocolate bomb and this requires a gnome ball but gnome bowl mode mold which we're gonna buy in there uh Gian dough four chocolate bars equal leaf two creams and a chocolate dust which we're getting in there as well So to get there, go ahead and go to the first floor and then head to the northwest corner and Hudo is going to be here. Go ahead and trade him and he'll have some ingredients. We want to buy the gnome ball mode mold and then we don't have an inventory space which sort of sucks. We're just going to drop a stamina potion for now and uh, it won't take that long. You can pick, up, pick it back up and then go ahead and buy a chocolate dust as well. And just like that, you have the ingredients to make one. So let's go ahead and make one. So the first thing we're going to do is use our dough on the gnome bowl mode mold and then use that raw gnome bowl mold on the range here it's going to go ahead and cook it right click prepare chocolate bomb use the half made bowl on the cooker unfinished bowl use the chocolate dust on the bowl to get a chocolate bomb yummy and that completes a medium task we'll keep this here for some food you can drop the gnome ball mold if you want and pick up your stamina potion again or whatever you dropped so now we're going to go ahead back towards the center now we're gonna have to come back to this area a bit later in the pro in the guide when we have to do a gnome restaurant delivery i just want to clear up some of this inventory space before we start that so now we're going to go ahead and head to the mines of uh, the gnome tree once you're back here go ahead and open the trap door and you're going to be in the mines of the grand tree pretty cool and now we're going to have to mine some gold ore when we're down here. So you just need to push these roots to open them. Let's see if we can go ahead and see if these rocks over here are gold. They should be. We'll prospect them. I don't know. They might be clay. Okay, those are clay. Let's see if we can find some gold. Iron mithril. Okay, nobody uses these mines down here. They probably aren't that bad of a spot, to be honest. I mean... It's over here. It's like coal. Oh, there's some gold ore. Let's go ahead and mine that. Man, look at that. Addy rocks down here, too. It's a pretty good spot. I guess these giant rats are here, but whatever. And we get some gold ore. That's pretty beast. Okay, awesome. So we've completed that achievement, Dari. Let's go ahead back towards the center. And we're going to climb up back up the ladder after we push these roots. And climb up this ladder. 
so now we're gonna go get that Grigri. So just simply climb up the ladder and then run to the western side of this first floor of the Grand Tree and the banks will be right here. And then let's go ahead and get the Grigri. All right, so once you've gotten the Grigri out, go ahead and head back to the center and we're gonna climb down the ladder. Now we're gonna use a shortcut that many people probably don't know about. So in the northeast corner of the Grand Tree is a shortcut right here up by the sort of closed thing. And it is a shortcut from the Grand Tree to Otto's Grotto, which is sort of where Barbarian Assault is, you know, that general area. It basically gets you to the spot where the games necklace gets you, but in case you never have a, or in case you don't have a games necklace and you only can get to the Grand Tree, this shortcut is for you. So go ahead and climb down the rocks. And climb down another pair of rocks. And now we're gonna have to spellbook swap over to the standard spellbook to use the Apatol teleport. Make sure you have your banana, uh, two law runes, two fire runes, and two water runes. And then I also have my spellbook swap runes. Let's go ahead and do that. Spellbook swap, standard. And then teleport to Apatol. When you're here, make sure you use your monkey Grigri. You'll be fine because your friend Afuba is here. But uh, yeah, now we're gonna be on Apatol. Fun fact. So I'm going to show you guys where we need to go. Basically, we're headed to the southwest part of the island where this fishing spot is and where these trees are. We're going to have to chop some teak logs. So, yeah. So, let's go. Go ahead and climb down. And we're going to run out of the palace area. I've been here in a while. It's this way. You basically just have to make your way out of the main part. Um, you don't have to go anywhere else except through this center part right here which is what leads you out so just keep heading west with all your other monkey friends the monkey's aunt she's still there she's still there looking for me okay open the bamboo gate that basically says open the gate a monkey wants to get through I know I can read monkey <laughs> and then head south There's gonna be lots of different trees. Actually a pineapple plant there, whoa. Cool. And now you guys are gonna see a bunch of different trees here. There's mahogany trees, a bunch of stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and fish first, which is over here. So go ahead and net the fishing spot. Oops, take off your Grigri, use a big fishing net on the fishing spot. And now you have to wait to, co to catch a bass, which is the bass, you know, the bass. So once you catch it, again, you can catch raw cod and raw mackerel as well. But you'll get a raw bass, and that's all you need to do with it. You don't need to cook it at the moment. But uh, yeah, now let's go catch or chop some, cheek, some, chop, <laughs> chop some teak logs. So just go ahead along the coastline down here. Going to drink a stamina pot. And go ahead and look for some teak logs. There's some big trees which you can't chop, but we have to get to the teak logs, which should be over here. Oh, there they are. Go ahead and chop down a teak log. Somebody's been here. Somebody's been chopping. And then use your teak log on your tinderbox. And da -da -da -da, you complete that. Awesome. So now we're going to head back to the Grand Tree. So if you don't have a Slayer Ring, you're going to have to find a way back. But if you have a Slayer Ring, just simply rub it and teleport back to the Stronghold Slayer Cave. And now we're going to travel by the Gnome Glider to get two Felda Pills. So to get to the Gnome Glider, just head back to the Grand Tree. It's always such a long run. It feels so long. Oh, we're going to use the side entrance. We like to be different. And remember that the Gnome Glider is at the very top floor of the Grand Tree, so let's go ahead up there, keep going up the ladder, off we go, one, two, three, there he is, top floor, all the way over here. So glider, glider option, and then you go to Lementali Undri, <laughs> which is Felda Pills, and boom, you complete the medium task in the Western Provinces, awesome.
From here, we're going to head straight south, and we're going to have to catch a Spined Larupia, which is at the hunting area. So just head straight south. Somebody else is here. Carnivorous Chimchampa. And we're going to look for the Spined Larupias, which are the, should be these big things up and around. So here we go. Here's one over here. Basically, we want to look for a trap. And we're going to tease it into a trap. This should be the plan. So let's go ahead and find a trap. Here we go. Right click on the pit and just do trap pit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tease it. We'll tease this one over here. Just tease it. And then jump over. Oops. You basically need to do it from this side. Let's try it again. Jump. Come here. Walk over. Let me get your fur. Bow. I actually feel sort of bad. These things are pretty cool. And then uh, dismantle. And we get uh, Splarupia fur. Pretty cool. He's actually sort of expensive too, so. Cool, but that completes the task, which is the more important thing. From here, we're going to head over to Rance. Over here where you guys started big jumpy bird hunting. It's just a straight shot northeast pretty much, so let's go ahead and run up there. Okay, once you're here, let's go ahead and talk to Rance. So we claim arrows, maybe. Oh, get your free arrows here if you want. And talk to him. No thanks. Oh my god, getting all these texts. Okay, and then you're going to automatically talk about the hats. Uh, can I have a hat, please? You show creature the marks on your bow. There we go. So he gives you a new hat for your um, amazing war killing chompies. And we also get the uh, other hat. Well, in my case, I got another hat because I've read it on 300. But you guys will get the green hat if you've only done 125. Oh, I get a lot of hats. Wait, holy crap. <laughs> Jesus. We just got like eight hats. Look at all those tasks I just got done. Okay, so I have a lot of hats now. Pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to keep the best looking one. Which is the red one with three feathers. So yeah, fashion skate, baby. But yeah, double check your task log just to see if you got that one done. We should only have two left at this point. Well, three left. The Eagles, inter Intermediate Game of Pest Control, and Gnome Delivery. Awesome. So let's go ahead and head back to Gnome Stronghold. We're going to go ahead and bank some stuff. Clear up a bit of inventory space. And then we're going to head to Alcarid. Now, you guys, usually you guys would think that since we... Alcarid is not even part of Western... Whoops. It's not even part of Western Provinces. Well, we are going to be doing... You can go to Western Provinces and use the Eagles there. Uh, in Felda Pill, however, it takes a very long time. So we're going to be doing the quick one of just going to Alcarid and doing the one in Uzer. Like you guys remember from the desert ones. So we can go ahead and bank some stuff. I'm going to drop this. We can sell this loop right here. Who, know, who knows how much we'll go for. Don't need that. Don't need this, this, this. We pretty much don't need anything. We'll keep the chocolate bomb for swag. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Uh, okay, and take up more stamina potions. Now we're also gonna need a shanty pass. You can buy it when you're down there as well. I'll just have one right here. And we have some. We need some coins, which we already have. And we're gonna get, gotta get out a glory as well. Let's go ahead and rub it, Alcarid. Okay, open the large door. I kept on my chompy hat. <laughs> Okay, and we're going to run quickly to the Shanty Pass. Okay, once you're here, um, I recommend bringing a rope. You don't need one because there's going to be a rope in the cave, but I'm going to bring one just in case. If you don't have a rope, you can buy one from Shanty as well. Who has a couple, for, and there's none on this world, but he may have some. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go to the Shanty Pass. And then trade or travel with the rug merchant and click user. And Carver rides again. Very boring. I'll fast forward this. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, once we're here, we're gonna head to the very southern tip. Just the deep. Basically, you see this mining spot? It's right here next to it. Just to the left of it is where we're going. You guys remember this from the desert, I think, medium tasks if you did it. So, let's keep on heading this way. And you guys will see the the cave entrance on the side of this, this mountain. Enter the cave. And then head over here to the eagles. Rope an eagle. Yeehaw. Got that. Okay, once we're here, use your rope on the jungle eagle. And you'll have that extremely in strange flying animation, but, you know, whatever. So you'll head here, and then just use the rope on the jungle eagle to go back if you want. And then we're back. And now at that point, it will say you completed it. Just double check your Western provinces just to make sure. In my case, I've already done it, so that'll be done. Okay, now we only have a couple left, guys. Let's go ahead and rub the Slayer Telp or Slayer Ring and head back to Gnome Stronghold. And now we're going to do a Gnome Delivery for the restaurant. So head back up to the Grain Tree. Okay, here we are. Open up, climb up the ladder. And those of you guys, or those of you who followed my tutorial earlier on how to start the gnome delivery, you guys will know where to go. We basically have to go talk to Gian, Gianni John Jr. So we're over here with him. So now we're gonna do our first gnome delivery. In my case, this will be my first one ever. Probably a lot for the same of you, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So I'll go ahead and talk to John Jr. I'm ready to take an order. Uh, where should we go? I'll do the edge of the world is no limit. That's I think that's the harder one. If you want to do the easy one, it's the one above it. Okay, he wants a wormhole. He is the explorer investigating the island of Karamja. Easy peasy, I'm on the job. Okay, let's go ahead and check. Your current customer is Penwai. Your current order is a wormhole. You have 10 minutes to make a delivery. 10 minutes is a lot of time, especially since there's teleports everywhere now. Now, I'm not sure what both these are. The order is going to be random for everyone, so I can't really help you with yours, guys. But in my case, Penwai is, I believe, on Karamja. He is southwest of the Gnome Glider. So basically, I'm heading... I'll show you guys when I after I bank. But we also need a wormhole. Or sorry. A, yeah, wormhole. So I'll we'll have to figure out what that is. So we have our money. We're going to go ahead and make a wormhole. So in my case, a wormhole is... I'll also link a gnome cooking wiki below in case you guys are confused on what you get. All the ingredients are there. So we're going to trade Hudo. And I need... For a wormhole, I need king worms, two onions, gnome spice. So we're going to buy one onion... A gnome spice. We also need Gian Do. And Gnome Bowl Mold. Okay. So I also need to get King Worms now. And these are at the swamp in the northwestern part of Gnome Stronghold. So we're gonna have to run up there and pick some from the ground. Time's running out. <laughs> Swamp's up here, it's not too far away. Oh, we can just go up this way. Oh, we have to leave first. Just kidding. Eight minutes left, let's go. So if you guys got king worms, they're on the ground over here. Bam. Bam. We're going to get three just in case. You can eat them. Lovely. And now we're going to head back over to the grand tree, get back to the second floor, and cook up our whatever it's called. Wormhole. Who eats this, man? I'd rather eat the chocolate bomb any day. I mean, look how great that looks. Okay, open up. Climb up. Almost seven minutes left. We should still be fine. 
All right, let's go ahead and use our dough on the mold. Use our mold on the cooker. Prepare. Oh, what do we still need? Oh, we need the king worm. Oh my god. So we wasted a bunch of time. Prepare. Wormhole. Okay. Use the half made bowl on the cooker again. Okay, and now use our. Oops, what do we need? Do we need spice or equa leaves? I think we need equa leaves. Oops. Equa leaves. Oh, I fucking just ate them. I'm sorry, they were so good. Equa leaves. There we go, wormhole. Okay, now we need to go to deliver it to Pen Y. So Pen Y is on Karamja. So what we're gonna do is, he's basically south of the glider on Karamja. So we're gonna climb up one more and use the glider to get to Gandius, which is Karamja. And now we have to look for Penwa, Penwai. He is on the map right here. You guys can see this glider area right here. He should be there. So just basically run up straight. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. Half key. Oh. Okay, so there we go, guys. We completed that medium task. Awesome. He was actually basically just next to the glider. So yeah. We only have one more left, which is to go ahead and do a pest control intermediate game. So we're going to do our pest control teleport and use the bank here. So now we have our lovely gear on, which is just our range gear. And then our cheeky little chompy bird hat up there. So we're going to go ahead and go to the middle boat. This first one is the novice one. The intermediate one is the one we want to do. That's the middle one. And once you're there, you guys can go ahead and join the IEM z space pc clan chat it's usually very full so it's going to take you a couple tries to get in but once you do you can look around and see what world are in this case they're in 377 so we're going to go ahead and quick hop to 377 boom oh, almost and we're in go ahead and quickly join the boat and now we'll wait for a game to oh a game just finished cool and we're in just like that so i usually just head to the western one you guys know how pest control works go ahead and finish a game and that's pretty much all you need to know all right, we finished, cool. We managed to get all three and boom, we complete all the tasks. So we're gonna go ahead into the bank quickly and then get our Western banner out just to see the upgrade. And also make sure you just have a teleport to the Gnome Stronghold. Oh. Okay, get the Western banner out. Sort of an ugly purplish color at the moment. Let's head up to the Elder Gnome Child who is the taskmaster for these uh, Western province tasks. He's a little little elder gnome dude. You guys can see him, very very tiny. There he is. Talk to him, and I've completed all of them. Boom, you want your reward? Yes, I do. Oh, looks a lot better now, like a reddish color. Cool, so you've upgraded your banner. The crystal saw will now last for twice as long, and you have a 50% chance of two jumpy birds appearing when hunting, and you prov Rance will provide you with 50 free ogre arrows per day. That's pretty beast, especially the chompy one, in case you're going for a thousand. So yeah, guys, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if the video helped you out. Make sure to leave a comment if uh, you have a more efficient way of doing something, or if the video did help you out. Anyways, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video. Peace.